How's this Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk on? Today we're going to be shooting a review of Star Wars by Data East today on location at Rec Car 812 in Southern Indiana. Uh, please look for a written review and metrics underneath the description of our YouTube video and let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, who doesn't love Star Wars? I'm sure everyone will say they do. As you can see, that ramp goes all the way around and comes out right habit trail to your right end lane. This is a traditional setup on this game. You have an end lane to the left and right, exit out lane, exit lane to your right and left as well. You have a scoop that says force that goes back to your top bumpers. And beyond R2D2, you have a, a little kick out which kicks it out to your left habit trail, left end lane. And you also have an area that goes back to R2D2 which is the lock back there and kick out. You have some targets to the center. Obviously the ramp we just discussed, you have the Death Star, which you have to hit it right at the exact perfect time in order to enter the Death Star. You have a lane to the right of that, which shows R2D2 that comes back around behind the Death Star. And of course the lane that goes all the way around the right side of the Death Star around the table to where R2D2 is. Artwork is what you would expect from a game like this. Obviously, it is uh, very old in comparison to some of the newer stuff that you see. So rating it based off of what you had back then, the Translite looks really good for what it is. It's a mashup. Playfield is what you would expect from a comic booky kind of look from back in the day. Star Wars, I mean, obviously for the replayability kind of concept to it, Star Wars, is something that is replayable just because of the theme. So, of course, Star Wars is a great theme integration. It will always sell. People will always want to buy it. People will always want to play it. Replayability in general, for me, it, this is not a bad game. I'd say it's actually a little underrated. I would have moved the nudge the table a little bit to get that ball, but of course, I don't want to destroy the camera work. Fun factor on this game is there. Look at R2 jumping up and down in the back there. Game actually shoots pretty decently. Uh, talking about flow and shots here. I think that it's heavily blocked in the middle as you see the, the pinball keeps jumping around from those center blocks there. It's just because there's so much force coming off of it hitting those blocks and those targets that it's just shooting the ball all around. But there are shots and it's very definitive. So obviously you gotta be right on target to the left, the middle, to the right. And there's a lot of blocks in between that to add to the difficulty. So I would say that this is really a moderate, uh, a moderate to light difficulty game. Not necessarily super hard, but you have to get your shots on actually to be able to to get your score on this game. Gameplay on this game uh, is decent. As you can see to the right, it says job is bounding as a scoop there. And of course your modes on this game are more to the top right of the table, of course. So you got advanced Death Star, moon increases, you got tri ball, et cetera, et cetera. And right now we're flashing to the middle. I'd probably say that based off of the grid that we have going on uh, from the multiple games that it would score right around an 8.5 give or take and I, I feel very confident in saying that just because of the gameplay and the shots All in all, I will say that this game is actually not that bad, believe it or not. It's 
Sound bites were pretty decent on it. Modes were pretty decent on it. The visuals on it are, are, are decent for what it for the time period, of course. As you see, that orbit is very fast if you get a straight shot through there. This game will flow if you hit the right shots. All in all, a great game. Definitely check this out when you have the opportunity on location. Until uh, next time, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, signing off.